this is the Power Query Editor window. As you can see on the left, you have six queries and there are different tables. And uh, if you go to the uh, ribbon up top, uh, if you click on the View tab, you can look at the data profiling tools. As you can see, there are several options. Say, for example, if you click on monospaced, your font will change in the columns there. And if you want to show white space or if you want to look at the new line characters, you can click on that. And there is another uh, option there. If you check on column quality, you will know the uh, quality of the columns. These are the several columns in our table. And if I click on column quality, it will show you the quality as shown here. Since our data is clean, you don't have any errors or empty. So in case if you find them, you can do the transformations right here itself, right? That's a pretty cool thing. If you click on column quality, you have uh, those options there. If you can scroll uh, to the right, for example, let me just uh, try to scroll to the right. And you can see for each and every column in your table, those are shown. And let me just scroll to the right as shown here. So each and every uh, column in your table and those uh, options can be taken care of. And the next is a column distribution. So as you can see here, uh, it will give you each and every column. There is a distribution there. So it will uh, give you an option to look at the duplicates and do all those uh, transformations in, ca in case if you want to, right? So since this data is pretty clean, you don't have uh, to do much here. And um, as, as I said, uh, this is pretty helpful. It will give you what are the distinct and uh, what are the unique and all those um, things as well uh, based on your column. And as you can see, you can do all the transformations there itself, right? And the third uh, thing which we can look at is the column profile. So it will give you the details in the bottom. As you can see in the bottom, you have all those column statistics. Based on the column you choose, those uh, column statistics will change, right? You can copy those statistics as well. And uh, also if you go to the right, uh, on the right, you have an option to uh, do uh, much more. For example, let me select this birth date column and you have the column statistics on the left. And if you go to the right and click on the three ellipses, you can copy and group by, right? Since it's a date column, you have all those options, year, month, day, and week of the day, etc. So if I click on any of those things, I can see the distribution, right? This is pretty cool for me, like in case if I want to understand the data, I know how the distribution is uh, here for that particular um, column. So based on the columns you choose, those things will uh, change. In this case, I am looking at the day of the week distribution. So you have the column statistics on the left and you, you also have those things, right? So it's pretty uh, good. Um, habit to start using uh, data profiling tools in Power Query so that we'll understand the data um, better and also we will try to clean and transform. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video.